My name is Randy Mainton. I drive a truck for a living. I have a four-year-old dog named Bert who I rescued. As I was growing up, I realized I was born in the wrong body. When I was about 16, 17 years old, I realized that something was missing in my life and I felt like I was more female instead of male and decided that this is who I want to be and who I'm going to be in life and match my insides with my outsides. And I had male to female surgery at Yale. Yale Medicine Urology is the first center in New England to start a program in male to female gender affirming surgery. Gender identity is how patients see themselves, who their inner part of their body identifies with. And that could be male, it could be female, it could be both, it could be neither. We've taken a comprehensive approach to patients to try to provide the best care possible. So we've put together a team of doctors, nurses, social workers, and patient advocates that all are working towards the same goal, which is excellent patient care and making the transgender patient comfortable in the environment that we provide here. And I was very glad that I found Dr. Hornick who did the surgery. The nurses, all the doctors, from the moment I walked into the hospital, they made you feel like you were at home. They treated you with respect, and you're not just a patient, you're a human being. One of the great things about being at Yale Medicine in conjunction with Yale New Haven Hospital is the ability to have all of these specialists under one roof. So if a need arises with a patient, we have the ability to refer within to meet that need. You get that warm feeling that they accept you for who you are. Even just getting into the door of a doctor's office can be quite difficult for these patients. They feel that they've been judged and everywhere that they go can be difficult for them. In this population, because they've been underserved, we really felt it was important to give them a place where they felt comfortable and where we could really give them the care that they deserved. I was really glad that there was a hospital that was local and closer to my home, so my travel time wouldn't be that bad after my recovery. I take the male genital parts and we transform them into female parts. So for example, we take part of the penis and we make that into a new clitoris. We take penile skin and we turn that to the inside of the vagina. For me, it's a combination of different operations that I do on a regular basis that we've put together to perform the gender-affirming surgery. So for me, it's a relatively straightforward type of procedure. One day I, I made a trip down to New York and I was unloading the truck and a guy came out and he said he'd never seen a woman truck driver. That made me feel really happy and proud that somebody recognized me for who I am. It's just been a tremendously gratifying experience working with this patient population. I think that there's been a need for years, and it's really an honor and a pleasure to be able to participate in a program like this and be part of the gender-affirming surgery team to help them. And I think we're really making a difference in patients' lives. Dr. Hornick is just a wonderful surgeon. He's just a wonderful person. I would recommend him to anybody in the world. My inside matches my outside, and I'm really happy. Life is just great.